Rice is the most important crop in Southeast Asia. Increase of rice production is a priority in the region. However, large amount of rice straw are left behind as unwanted waste. Open burning is the fastest and cheapest way to remove rice straw for next crop rotation. It is done to control weeds, pests and crop diseases. Burning rice store releases a large amount of toxic air pollutants and greenhouse gases, causing high personal exposure, especially respiratory diseases. Thus, we had designed a system to convert the excessive paddy straw into bioethanol. It consisted of three system process, that is the sacrification, fermentation and distillation with sensor actuator interfacing. It uses the national instrument Mirio as the microcontroller. A graphical user interface is constructed to monitor the condition of each of the processes at real time and can be accessed remotely. The system started at the sacrification tank. The patty straw is first milled. Pre-treated with acid to break the cellulose and lignin to release the cellulose and hemicellulose content. Then, hydrolysis occurs, which breaks down the cellulose into glucose by activity of enzymes. The whole process is called sacrification. First, put the pre-treated patty straw into the sacrification tank. Then, put the tubing for the support of sensors. Water is added until reaches the desired water level. Sensor cap is covered and activated, left for one day. Bubbles is observed to be formed at the broth solution. The second system lies inside the fermentation tank. By the addition of yeast, the glucose released in the first tank would be consumed and then release ethanol and carbon dioxide. As the condition of sensor is met, the solution flow into the fermentation tank. The valve will close when it reaches the water level, then yeast would be added. A chamber is built to monitor ethanol content in the tank. The release valve is controlled by servo motor to open at an interval of one hour, then sensing by the ethanol sensor. The result shows the ethanol content is peak at around 12 hour. The third system lies the distillation chamber. When the condition of sensor is met, the solenoid valve would open allowing the solution to flow into the tank. The heater is activated to heat up the solution up to 85 degrees Celsius, together with fan motor and GUI to monitor the temperature. Our result shows that we could obtain approximately 100 mm of ethanol from 200 grams of patty straw being added. Why bioethanol? Bioethanol can reduce CO2 emissions by 40% when compared to driving on petrol. This includes CO2 emissions across the entire process, from growing the crops, to extracting the waste, refining and transporting the fuel and powering your vehicle. It's what we call well to wheel. Here's how it works. Australian ethanol producers currently use the byproducts from food production found on top of the ground instead of beneath it. These materials absorb CO2 as they grow, converting energy from the sun in a sustainable process. As the source of the ethanol comes from waste, we don't have to put as much stress on the environment to produce the fuel. There is even a reduction in tailpipe emissions, and although fuel consumption will be higher, bioethanol delivers better performance for your Commodore. In fact, V8 supercars have already made the switch to ethanol fuel. Australian industries will benefit too, with the whole production process being completed locally. And best of all, you can reduce your environmental impact without compromising on the car that suits you best. Bioethanol, the intelligent fuel of the future.